So what's better, wood or time? That ain't wood. That's not wood? And this ain't wood neither. Oh, it's all engineered. <laughs> That's just a print on top of the, on top of the... That ain't wood? No, it ain't wood. But that stuff's better to waterproof and everything. Tile, like even in bathrooms anymore, like I try to still steer people towards like doing that kind of floor versus a tile. Drop something, tile's gonna break. You know, like especially in kitchens. I'm always talking people out of doing tile floor in their kitchens. Drop a pot or some shit, a tile's gonna Drop shatter. A big ass pot, yeah. Yep. Like yep. Cast iron. And I've on. been there trying to replace cut out one tile out of the floors. That's the thing, gotta match it, yeah. It's, a, it's same here possible. Oh, shit, man. I feel bad fucking wood. So they just print it and make it look like mm -hmm. this. What about, I know the wall. Yep. Nope, same thing. That's just paneling with a print on it. It's cardboard and glue. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah, that's for real. What about the ceiling? Oh, this ceiling is tile, right? What's that? This ceiling is, what they call it? Yeah, the drop tile. Drop ceiling. But I want this shit with like a fluorescent light. Right, right. Yeah, I don't mess with no drop ceilings yeah, either. Like I won't do that shine ceiling. Uh uh. You should do a silent ceiling? Yep. Why y'all like this? Pain in the ass. And especially I'm by myself most of the time. I'd rather throw up drywall on the ceiling by myself than try to mess with this shit. For real? Is that much of a pain in the ass? I feel like all commercial has this shit. Though. It does. Well, they got dudes that do it all the time that yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah. don't have near as much of a problem, you know? I guess that's one. And they running around on stilts when they put these shits up, you know, like brand new when they're doing office buildings and stuff. They get them boys just running around on stilts and do it all day, I guess. It's probably not a pain in the ass for them. How long have you been on your own? About 13, 14 years. Mm -hmm. You don't regret it? You regret it? Yeah, I love it. I don't regret it at all. How do you find your people? Where are you now? Are you in the Nope. I got some other guys. He, he does uh, contracting down the city. He's doing it for 30 years. He hasn't run an ad ever. Yeah, I, I haven't. <laughs> even books. I, yeah, likewise, I haven't dropped a dime on advertising in 13 years. To me, that blows my fucking mind. Man. Yeah. Hey, if you do good work, be good to people, you know? Yeah. You see? There's a lot of people out there that are. <laughs> they need work. So it's never. Like, well, it's always a lot of people out there that are tough, too. Just trying to make a quick buck and rip somebody off. You'd be amazed at some of the shit I come behind. Well, you gotta come behind, motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. What's up? I messed something up. That's all me. What's up, Mark? I mean, why, why, why don't people want to do good work, man? I see it all the time, man. Quick and cheap and as uh, possible and get out of there. That's all. People don't care. They got no pride in this shit, you know? It was a story I heard a while ago with this builder, this contractor. And he had a contractor and uh, called the contractor to build this house for him. So the contractor, you know, just got all the cheapest materials as he could, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Wanna make some money. That's how it goes, man. But at the end, but, but, but at the end, but at the end, the, the, the builder gave the house to the contractor. He said, you can have it, man. <laughs> this is for you. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, that's all awesome. right. Good stuff. So he had to replace every, every it's all the like, stuff falling apart. It's like that today, man. People buying these, all these developments all over the place, popping up and charging seven, eight hundred thousand dollars for these townhomes. Yeah, yeah. Pieces of shit, man. Oh shit. It'll keep me in business for the rest of my life for sure. You're in there, not even a year. Shit's already fucked up. Ridiculous. I'm glad you said that. Ridiculous, dude. Ridic Don't buy new construction. Don't buy nothing <laughs> built after the 80s, bro. For real. Don't buy nothing built after the 80s. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, I'm thinking, man. Because that's how it rolls. Like you said, as cheap as possible. And Everything charge as much as possible. And get out of there as quick as possible. Cheapest labor. Dudes don't know what the fuck they're doing. Like That's the game. Yep. Fucking stupid. American dream, right? Get to the top and fuck as many people over on the way as you can. Fuck. You know, like that's it. Keep doing it, baby. Yep. And I, so, you that's why of, hold on, hold on. So, so you go to a lot of houses like that, new homes? Mm -hmm. I've already told people that just moved in. I said, sorry, put this shit up for sale now. Get, get out. Don't they even get, unpack your shit. They get tired of it? Just don't even unpack your shit. Why would you buy this, you know? Are you serious? Yeah. The houses look beautiful, though. Mm-hmm. It's all smoke and mirrors, bro. For real. Just like the whole world and everything, man. Yep. That's what I'm saying, dude. I don't 